Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Hale, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make memes at three different levels. While millions upon millions of internet users consume and share memes in their everyday life, a much smaller percentage of folks actually make their own original content. I wanna change that, and I want to help you actively participate in this collective creative enterprise. Before I do that, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification. All right, now that that's all behind us, first, some general principles. Memes are, in most cases at least, ephemeral. They are short-lived, and they're very much of their moment. If the content doesn't spread via informal peer-to-peer -peer networks, and here I'm referring to the work of Jenkins and Green and Ford's 2013 book, Spreadable Media, if it doesn't gain some sort of momentum, well, then it atrophies. Memes work in large part through intertextuality and the de- and recontextualization of referential content, usually to make some sort of parodic or satirical or even just kind of a surrealist message about popular media, public events, politics, culture, and so on. Just about anything can become a meme or an ingredient in a meme. It's the art of taking that which exists at hand from the public sphere and then transforming it into something new. One last general principle. When a meme goes viral, it spreads through various social networks both online and off, inspiring other memes through acts of sharing and replication and imitation, which inevitably introduces variation. The thing is, virality is difficult to predict, and it's even harder to engineer. I've spent hours creating complex photoshops that went totally unnoticed on Reddit, and then I've also spent five minutes dropping text onto an existing meme format, and then it spreads like wildfire. Okay, that's it for basic principles. Uh, now let's move on to the specifics of making memes at three different experience levels. And in order to do that, I'm actually going to jump over to voiceover. Level one. If you've never created a meme before, I would suggest that you start with a basic meme making application, something like Image Flip, Canva, or Mematic. For this example, I'm gonna work with Mematic. Select a template and then either choose a photo from your phone or computer's image library or, and this would be my recommendation, select one of a number of existing popular meme formats. Add text or replace sample text in the text field boxes, move it around, change the font color until you're finally satisfied. Then you'll click export and then either share the meme directly or save it locally on your device. If you're using the free version of Mematic, you'll see the phrase made with Mematic in white text on the bottom left hand corner of your finalized meme. You could upgrade, of course, to the premium version of the application, but I really wouldn't. You can always crop the image to remove the text or you can just post it as it is. There's actually an entire meme cycle that references and makes fun of this aspect of this application. But that's it. You've created your first meme. Level two. This brings us to level two, where you might introduce some slightly more advanced image manipulation and text effects. You can use a variety of applications from PowerPoint, Keynote, Canva, Adobe Spark, and so on to create your own original memes. Unlike meme generator applications like Mematic or ImageFlip, you have a lot more control here. So when I started making my own memes about a year or so ago, I would drop an image or two into Keynote, Apple's PowerPoint equivalent, and I would erase existing text, add text, combine images, superimpose one element onto another, and then I'd take a screenshot of my final product. So on my Mac, I would hit Command Shift plus four, I'd click and drag to make a selection, and then I'd have a cropped finalized meme ready to share online. Here are a few examples that I've made using that technique. Finally, there's what I'm calling level three. At this stage, you can create entirely original memes from bits and pieces of existing content or from scratch by using advanced or professional image and graphics editing programs like Photoshop. Now, if you don't have access to Photoshop or a similar application, you might try something like Phototopia or GIMP. These applications offer a range of control that just isn't possible with something like Mematic, Adobe Spark, or even PowerPoint. I actually taught myself how to use Photoshop over the last year or so by making memes and other sorts of creative content that I shared on Reddit and Instagram, Twitter, and my YouTube channel. Now, this isn't a Photoshop tutorial. There are plenty of those out there. If you're interested in learning how to use Photoshop, I would recommend you check out Pixel Imperfect, Photoshop Tutorials by Web Flippy, and Photoshop Tutorials on YouTube. I'll leave links in the description box down below the video. I will say this, though. If you're going to be making memes in Photoshop, there are a few things that you should probably know. 
First and foremost, you need to start thinking in layers. You'll be creating finalized compositions by creating multi-layered images. After that, it's important to remember that there are multiple ways to do just about anything in Photoshop. For example, if you want to remove a subject, let's say a head from one photo and drop it onto the body of a different subject in another photo, well, there are a lot of different ways to achieve this. For me, after trying a lot of different approaches, I've sort of settled into a workflow where I remove subjects from Photoshop by using the Quick Selection tool. Depending on the complexity of the image, the level of detail that I'm trying to achieve, or to be frank, just how much time I have to complete a project, I might just use the Select Subject and then the Select and Mask feature to isolate a subject or a specific element of an image. But again, this isn't a Photoshop tutorial. The major takeaway when creating a meme, I would argue, is to observe, understand, and analyze human behavior and to try to understand what is currently occupying a lot of the bandwidth of the public consciousness. And, more importantly, to be creative. Memes are a vehicle through which you can express yourself, your point of view on the world, on politics, popular culture, and everyday life. All right, that's the end of the video. If you've never made a meme before, I highly recommend you make one. Go find a community in which you can share it and see what happens. Thanks. Subscribe to the channel, all that stuff.